That time of the week, time when we look back at the week that was in terms of media mishaps with our good <laughs> friend Katie Halver, host of the Katie Halver Show and co-host of the wonderful Useful Idiots podcast and um, originator of the Katie Halper bump as well, we should say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's why we have you yeah. on the show every week. Right. Not only do we love you exactly. and your insight, but we're looking to get that Katie Halper bump literally yeah. every week look, here. We at have Wilson. to. Yeah. And look <laughs> how well your book is doing. You're welcome. There you go. Boom. Thank, Thank you. you Katie. Thank you, Katie. So there was a segment on CNN. I know this caught Crystal's eye. Uh, let's take a listen and let's get your reaction, Katie. I'll break. Now, here's something that helps explain the difference between the testing situation in South Korea and the U.S. The South Korea, like European countries and Canada, has universal single payer insurance. And that means that it's easier to mobilize and also people know what to do. There is pretty much one answer for how to get testing. The U.S. is a patchwork of countless different systems. And so you can't say here's exactly the steps that every American should take in order to get tested. Jake. And the other thing, Elizabeth, of course, is uh, uh, government officials keep saying uh, Americans should check in with their primary care physician. One quarter of the American people, according to a study by the journal in the Journal of American Medical Association, one quarter of the American people don't have a primary care physician. And Jake, I would bet that many primary care physicians, even if you have one, if you called them, they would say, gosh, I really don't know what to tell you. Katie, if only there was wow. someone running for president who was in favor of such a great single payer health care system. I know. System. <laughs> I wonder. I know. We got to. If only Elizabeth Warren were still in the race, right? Then we have exactly. someone. Exactly. Oh, no, actually, wait, there still is someone. If only Elizabeth Warren had a, the power to make, what's it called? Like an endorsement. <laughs> Imagine what happened then. But she can't because, you know, she can't. Because, you know, as she, we saw during the campaign, she was very torn. She was always saying, I'm with Bernie, but she was also always saying, I'm with Biden. Never once did she say, I'm with Biden. So just wondering why she doesn't, you know, follow through on that. Well, but yes, that's because, own- Katie, it's because she apparently had some mean tweets that were sent at her staff. We have to yes, center her experience and value her experience and the self-care that she yeah, needed right. after the that rigors of a campaign. Care. We have to hold the space for her and really honor that and let her mourn. And maybe <laughs> after mourning, maybe what she can do is like endorse Bernie after the, the 2020 election, after Trump right. is reelected, let's say. And then she can be like, well, I just want to performatively and ritualistically um, honor and virtue signal uh, everything right. I present stand for. Okay, I mean, just, yeah. Anyway, that's almost like a media <laughs> non-fail, though, because they're almost, like, they almost get there. They they could really, you're right, the fail is that they could say, like, which really shows the, why Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All is picking up so much steam, or why maybe this makes this interesting for, uh, to have a debate at, at this moment. But well, they and don't. it's also I mean, a fail. It's like a, a retrospective fail because for months they've just been telling us how terrible Medicare for all is and how right, we can't exactly, afford right, it. Right. Now everybody's going to lose yeah. their health care and you're not going to have health care. And now they're like, oh, right. actually, it would mean everyone would have health care. Huh? Right. Who knew? Exactly. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> if only, if only, yeah. I mean, this really is a great example of, you know, it's funny. I'm going to quote Chris Matthews, who like a broken clock used to be or is right like twice a day. And I remember years ago he said, everyone's a libertarian until they get a stroke. Everyone's a libertarian until they have a stroke, which I actually think is a really good way of putting it in a way. Like everyone hates socialist things or every, everyone hates Medicare for all. Not everyone, but the people who do. I should say media elites like um, Jake T- Jack Tapper and uh, hate Medicare for all until they realize that it could affect them. <laughs> and, oh, you always know, funny. Right? Right. And so at the same time, um, there have been some people who have been trying to minimize uh, what's going on with the coronavirus. Let's take a listen to one of the chief offenders. This coronavirus, just all of this panic is just not warranted. This I'm telling you when I when I tell you when I've told you that this virus is the common cold. When I said that, it was based on the number of cases. It's also based on the kind of virus this is. Why do you think this is COVID-19? This is the 19th coronavirus. They're not uncommon. Coronaviruses are respiratory cold and flu viruses. There is nothing about this except where it came from and the itinerant media panic that you can't blame people reacting the way they're reacting if they pay any even scant attention to the media. They've got nothing left now but this last chance to destroy Trump and the economy. That's where we are right now because the the Democrats, the bottom has fallen out of their presidential campaign. 
That's, that is so blatantly irresponsible, right? Katie? I know. I mean, minimizing yeah. it. I mean, look, I mean, that is, that's what it is. Rush, a lot of people trust Rush Limbaugh. They listen to him every single day. A lot of and elderly actually, a lot people. Of elderly people. Right, and yeah. And look, I mean, you have to take, and again, I do think there are some people who are cynically using this for political purposes on the left and on the right, but that doesn't yeah. mean that you minimize a disease which can affect, right. I mean, he should, he's an immunocompromised man, an elderly man. I it's know. not good. He has yeah. lung cancer, right? He has yeah, lung cancer. he does. He has cancer. He should go. He should go treat people who are um, who have the virus. He should like do some community service, show everyone how not important it is, not contagious it is, and he won't get any. Nothing will happen to him apparently. I, I mean, that's really what bothers me because it's not just him, and a lot of people are not able to separate this whole like, oh, they're trying to right. destroy no, Trump, right. blah blah blah. And look, I mean, I think that if Sanders was doing something foolish and out of step or whatever that you guys would call him out yeah. I mean, am i wrong tell of me like, yeah we yeah. have we yeah. do yeah. absolutely yeah, yeah we do yeah <laughs> i'm calling joe biden your friend but yeah, yeah um <laughs> no and uh, big i want I, by, by the way bernie if you're watching this we need paternal father figure reassuring bernie the bernie who held um ilan omar's daughter in the, in his arms that kind I, I think that's that, that's the one that we need to see in this time of medical crisis by the way just a mm. little but i'm not criticizing him just a little tip but I, yeah. but we do. Chris and I do criticize him. But yes, I thank you for criticizing uh, Rush Limbaugh. And also, uh, it's true that you can acknowledge that something is being weaponized and cynically used without lying about how how yeah, incredibly exactly. serious and and you know. And this is a disease that a lot of people are asymptomatic and they they spread it. And then your lungs are like on fire, and right. the treatment is you know. I mean. Yeah, we, we don't want to terrorize people with fear, but also people need to know about this so that they take precautions. And right. yes, yeah. it's incredibly. So what he's doing, ironically, is he's doing the very thing that he's accusing other people of doing, right? Which yeah. is that he's using something for political gain and, and very cynically exploiting something that actually is a crisis. He's right. like no, risking coronavirus to own the libs. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't think, exactly. I don't think that Italy shut their entire country down in order to hurt Donald Trump. Like, it's insane. On yeah. the other hand, we did see a tweet from someone who was like, yes. oh, Trump is intentionally— he said Trump is crashing the economy and closing the border because it will hurt America, and that helps Putin. And ergo, Katie, he's Putin's puppet. Oh. That's right. Putin well, wins. Waiting for us to make that connection because we all know that coronavirus is actually was invented in a Russian uh, bio KGB lab. Yeah, right. uh, bio lab that still exists, even though the KGB, right. whatever. Yeah, and, and yeah, that was funded it, by they, Donald Trump. Maybe they gave it to Trump that's in 1987. That's it. Brought it here. Oh, that's that's the they did. oh, you know how they gave it to they gave it to <laughs> Donald Trump because Putin is Donald Trump's boyfriend, right. and they make out, right? I forgot that really, about like, that. Ah, that's and right. When they hit, gave him like right. a vial of it or right. something yeah there you go. yes i mean i'm not saying that that is what happened i'm just asking questions I'm just saying, yeah. yeah i'm just saying could it have it's not I'm we joke around but this is the actual intellectual capacity of much of the american elite yeah so. and you know yeah. in fairness like <laughs> i can understand given how the, so much of the media has beclawed themselves in the trump presidency that when they turn around and say no for real like this is a real problem yeah, exactly. That plenty of Americans oh, yeah. this go. Is, well, by the way, the reason that Rush has an audience, the reason that people on the right are are willing to believe some of this stuff is because they have lied so many times about so many different and important things. And just like governments need to have trust uh, during times of crisis, yeah. media does too. Yeah. It's called the fourth estate for a reason. And yet they've right. never been able to rise to the occasion. And that's part of the issue. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. All, all um, right, Katie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you well, Katie. I just quick, quick, quick shout out to, to myself if I can. People should check out the thread I have about Bernie Bros, a piece I'm, that's coming out on it, because that's another myth that people are still using. As you said, Saga, earlier, mm. it's because of uh, mean snake emojis. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> yeah. People there we go. All right. Katie Helper on Twitter. Everybody go and follow her if you're not already and check out that thread. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate it as always. Thanks, Katie. Bye. All right. We'll have more for you after this.